Welcome back YouTube and it's been a while since I've done a, uh, a settings video on old Overwatch and today we are bringing you a settings video for the for the girl Sombra. Sombra. She's a, uh, a very fun character to play, a very niche character to play. Her kits, depending on what level you play at, some people say she's very broken, some people say she's just not, you know, not usable. But um, in the right hands I think Sombra is a very very fun character to play and a very powerful character to play. Uh, in terms of like settings wise, she's not you don't massively need to change much, but the things that I change may help you in terms of like um, what I was like playing as before I changed them to to now. I feel a lot more comfortable now, a lot more snappy now with with the accuracy. Uh, we'll start straight away on the just the normal, you know, vertical and, and horizontal. Uh, I keep these at forty and thirty five. And if you look, looked at my recent uh, videos. I started to play high sense. Sombra cannot play high sense. I don't think it's like she's fine with having low sensitivity. I don't think you actually need to go full on super high with her with her horizontal or vertical. I really don't think you do um, because in the backlines and stuff, if you like, let's say you go behind a Zen or, or behind a, uh, a Mercy or something, and you're trying to shoot and they, and they move away from you. And I don't know. I just don't think you need a, a super super high sense. Uh, we'll go to the advance in a sec, but firstly, we're going to go to the uh, reticle type. Circle has to be circle. And uh, you want to follow this thickness one, cross L length ten, and center gap seventy. And the reason I do this, I'll show you in a sec. Opacity one hundred, outline opacity ten. I mean, you could you could even put that to one hundred. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really mean change much. Uh, dot size six. I, I stay around six. It's just it's easy to see. Not too big, not too small. So six is, is quite nice. And then dot opacity one hundred percent, scale revolution on, of course. Uh, the reason why this is centi uh, 70, the center gap, as you can see, it gets bigger or smaller. Some people like to go like 30%, 30-40%, so it's like smaller, smaller so you can see where you're aiming. But if I if I show you here on the wall, and you see her bullet spread, there's quite a few bullets that land outside that circle. So if you keep it as 70, it's what I play at. Now, there's only, if, I'd say, about three bullets that land on the cusp of the circle, not outside of it, just on the cusp of it. So you actually get a, a very accurate representation of where your bullets are going. Instead of like, if you have it smaller, your bullets are going to be... So let's just say you're shooting someone like here with a smaller gap. And you think you're going to get them, but you're not. You're missing them because, you know, your bullets are not where you're aiming. But with a bigger one, as you can see, every single bullet lands within that circle. Then we'll go to advance for you. Oh, uh, hack sensitivity as well. I've changed that to 70. Because I did notice in some games I'm trying to hack someone that's right in front of me. With a couple of people right in front of me. It, it's... It, it it's like a it's like an RNG. It, it, it chooses for you. But with, with it at seventy, I tried a bit lower. It doesn't work. But at seventy, it seems a very good uh, a very good um, kind of balance with it. But uh, advanced. So this is where it gets a bit crazy. My aim assist window size is sixty. I've changed that to sixty. Uh, legacy mode I put on aim assist easing is fifty. I did have this on thirty percent for a while, but I changed it back to zero. Um, everything else stays the same. Dual zone off 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 off. But everything else stays the same apart from aim assist window size is 60 my aim assist easing is 50 and my aim assist legacy is on it just means like when i'm when i'm running around as you can see it's slower so if i'm running around it's just it just it just snaps it feels like it snaps onto people really really easily and really quickly as well like it's uh it's stiffer it feels stiffer this is why i don't play with like a super high sensitivity if it's super high i'm shooting and i can just whiff away but with this, it just snaps and it just stays. It does. It, it just stays on people. I like it. I like it like that. So I keep my aim assist on. Because when I play, I do crouch a lot. Like I'm shooting at someone, I'll, I'll, I'll like spam crouch. And this just feels like it, 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 it stays on the red. And that's without using the focus button as well. So yeah, that is my uh, that is the best settings I've used as Sombra. So if you do want to get better at Sombra, make sure you use these settings. I'll try them out. If you were, uh, if you like them, let me know. Comment down below if you were, uh, if you do use them and you've um, you've got some uh, like nice work out of them. Because I have a few comments on the other videos that say, "Oh, these are good, these are good." So I'm really pleased with that. But yeah, that's that's the uh, perfect uh, sentence of Sombra. Peace.